What's going on? What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Property Hunter Secrets. It's your boy, Isaac Grace. And what I want to do in this short video is show you guys a little bit about how to become an expert property hunter and the secrets that we follow to go out here and find off market discounted properties. So what I'm currently doing right now is driving for dollars, right? And in that process, I'm looking for vacant properties, distressed properties, properties with the grass that is all raised up, you know, or landscaping that the property may need, sort of like this property we're in front of here. So when I'm driving and I'm looking for properties, the goal is to pick some targeted areas where there's some neighborhoods and subdivisions and go out there and drive them areas, right? So for example, this property here, I probably wouldn't add to my list just because it looks like it's pretty clean. Someone lives in that property, you know, so that probably wouldn't be the ideal candidate. Same with this property here. Um, I'm also looking at things like the roof, the gutters, the siding condition, the landscaping, if there's any stickers in the walls, I mean, in the, in the windows, things like that. See, now this property here, I mean, it doesn't immediately scream vacant property, but, you know, the siding looks a little outdated. There are some things that you can indicate that that may possibly be a lead. So sometimes we may add them, sometimes we may not. So I'm gonna to try to see if we can actually find a good property for you guys to check out. But this is literally what you wanna do. So we drive through these neighborhoods. I'm gonna show you guys how to use the Driving for Dollar app that we'll utilize. It's gonna help you be able to track the leads that you're finding and also track your routes when you're driving. So let's keep on going. So when you're working with us, we will assign you a specific territory to go ahead and drive. We'll give you specific addresses of either houses or leads that we've generated in certain areas that we want to continue to generate more real estate opportunities in. So now I'm in the next community right next door. So this property here definitely looks like it could be a candidate and opportunity right there. Um, it doesn't look vacant, but this property looks like it can use a new homeowner. The siding's older, the roof looks a little older. Those are some of the candidates that you want to look out for. All right, let's see what we can find. When driving for dollars, this is very, very important because this is one of our main lead generation strategies. So our property hunters, you guys have to really, really be out here looking, talking with neighbors, talking with different people as you're driving through these neighborhoods looking for property. Excuse me, I didn't see the bump. But this particular neighborhood that we're in, if you're not seeing a lot of vacant, ugly properties, um, that's a good thing in a sense because that means that people are taking care of the neighborhood. There's not a lot of vacant distress situations going on. So all we need is one, maybe two properties, kind of like this one here, you know, the siding looks really, really old. It's not vacant, but that would certainly be a type of candidate that we would want to speak with that homeowner. Um, when driving for dollars, it's not just about looking for vacant properties. Um, it's also looking for properties that are owner occupied, but maybe it's maintenance deferred, you know? So those are some other things that you can keep in mind when you're actually hunting for these properties. Um, if you can get anywhere from 25 to 50 good ones per day, that's pretty good. Every neighborhood is different. Like this one here, I like that one. Um, and the reason why I like that one, because the siding's a lot older the windows are a little bit older. So that's just all indicators that there may need some renovations on their property. And if they're motivated, they may sell it for a discount. So any signs that you can find on properties, if the garage door, the front doors are all banged up, if there's a lot of debris in the yard, if the windows are cracked, you know, 
if the gutters are falling off the roof, if there's no gutters, you know, those are all the things you want to look for. Those are all the things you want to look for. A lot of times you're not just going to find a bunch of vacant homes. So sometimes you got to really challenge yourself, get out there, speak with some neighbors. If you see neighbors out, ask them, do they know if anyone's looking to sell any properties? And that can also give you the clues that you need to get out here. But like I said, this neighborhood here that we're in this is a pretty good neighborhood. We've done one or two deals in the past in this neighborhood. So, um, you know, you're not going to find tons and tons of opportunities. But like you said, this one right in front of us is a perfect example. Now, I think someone lives here. But look, you see up in the roof how it has some maintenance and it needs. It has wood, old wood siding. The landscaping isn't the best. Um, this is a person that we certainly will want to talk to. So this is what you want to do when you get out here and drive. Look for these properties. If you guys have any questions, make sure you contact our support team and we'll be here to help you. And keep in mind, the harder you work and the more you take this serious, the better chances you get to build with our real estate team. Thank you.